Investigation into the fatal shooting on a New Mexico film set. Production on Alec Baldwin's film Rust has halted indefinitely after he accidentally shot and killed the cinematographer and sent the director to the hospital. Officials now searching to find out what went wrong. Kaylee Hartung is in Santa Fe with more. Good morning, Kaylee. Hey, good morning, Robin. A search warrant has led authorities here to seize three revolvers, a couple boxes of ammunition, and several spent casings from that film set. And as we're still asking questions about what safety guidelines were or were not followed, this morning we are learning that the crew member in charge of safety on that set had faced a breach in protocol before. This morning, investigators are trying to piece together a clearer picture about what happened on the set of Alec Baldwin's film Rust, resulting in the death of cinematographer Helena Hutchins. Now, a past allegation emerging about assistant director Dave Halls, who authorities say unknowingly handed Alec Baldwin a gun with live rounds. A producer for a movie called Freedom's Path tells ABC News, Halls was fired from that set back in 2019 when another prop gun unexpectedly discharged, causing a minor injury to a crew member. ABC News has reached out for a comment from Halls regarding this past incident, but has not heard back. The head of Russ Electrical Department calling out to the producers in a post on Facebook, writing that he believes Hutchins' death was the fault of negligence and unprofessionalism. According to search warrants issued for the Rust film set, this tragic shooting happened as Baldwin was preparing for a scene in this church and was handed a gun by Halls, who yelled cold gun to indicate it wasn't loaded. Baldwin was practicing drawing his weapon, pointing the revolver towards the camera lens. Standing behind it were Hutchins and the director, Joel Souza, who was shot in the shoulder. We need some help. Our director and our cameraman, the cameraman has been shot. No charges have been filed and investigators have not placed blame on any individual for the shooting. They continue interviewing cast and crew members while seizing firearms and ammunition from the set. The production is now paused, according to producers, at least until the investigations are complete. On Instagram, Alec Baldwin's wife, Hilaria, saying her heart is with Helena, her family, and her husband, Alec, no words to express the heartache. In the aftermath of the tragedy, a California state senator intending to introduce legislation in Hutchins' honor that would ban live ammunition from movie sets in that state. I think it should change the way guns are used on sets. Bruce Lee's daughter, Shannon, knows all too well the pain of losing a loved one on a movie set as a result of accidental gunfire. Her brother, Brandon, was tragically shot and killed by a prop gun while filming the movie The Crow in 1993. She says there are other ways to pull off action in films without the danger. Mayor of Easttown serving as an example. The gunfire seen in the HBO miniseries, all digital. Film sets are make-believe. There's no reason for real guns to be involved in that. Um, there are amazing prop masters and set decorators and special effects people that can make this sort of movie magic happen without putting people in, in the way of danger. Investigators here hope to have a judge sign off on additional search warrants today. Now, we are warned this will be a long investigation, but we do expect to hear from the district attorney and the sheriff leading the case for the first time in front of cameras tomorrow. Michael. All right, Kaylee, thank you so much. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.